very good morning to all the students uh, yesterday i have posted a video lecture about the integers right so of that integers so there were the multiplication there was the uh, positive and negative integers and subtraction we did but today i'm gonna uh, say you and gonna make you a bit clear about how it is uh, to be represented in a number line okay so first of all we'll be doing of uh, addition so in addition uh, addition so in addition we have um, plus integers positive integers and positive integers then after uh, in addition also we can have positive integers and negative integers which we have to add okay so in such a way we'll uh, provide you the example and how to represent it in a number line so first let me take an example of a positive integers 3 and another also positive integers 4 okay so after two positive integers are there and we know that answer that 3 plus 4 will be equals to plus 7 right so since the uh, both the signs are positive so the result will also be positive here we know that result how to calculate it but now how to represent in a number line let me first draw a number line for drawing a number line i'll always use a scale and what i'll be doing first of all i'll be marking at any point okay i'll be marking at any point but it should be equal to the line given look you can see the direction how i'm marking it and i'll be marking it here as a zero zero is known as a point of reference okay from the point of reference now to the right hand side to the right hand side i'll be marking as one two uh, three four five six so each 10 millimeter is 10 millimeter is equals to or each one centimeter is equals to one unit okay so it is equals to one unit so i'm marking here like this okay and in negative direction, that is in the left hand side also. Now I'll be marking as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So like this, I'm, I'll be marking. And here I'll be writing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And here minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7 now first let me check the number here the number here given is plus 3 okay so plus 3 is given positive number is given that means it would always move in the right direction okay it will always move in the right direction so starting from 0 always we have to take uh, take this 0 as a point of reference so starting from 0 now I'll be counting plus 3 so here it will be plus 1, plus 2 and plus 3. So I am marking here as an arrowhead. Then after again from um, plus 3, there is another digit which is plus 4, right? So again from the same point, and now I will be marking as 1, 2, 3, 4. Up to since the number is 4, so I will be marking up to 4 here. Now our total um, number, the addition of the 3 and 4 is equal to 7 and in number line also we ended up to 7 so this one is correct now now what i'll be writing here i'll be making a, yeah i'll be drawing with the help of the scale and here i'll be writing 7 okay like this you have to do and here also since up to this much this is 3 so i'll be writing here 3 you can make a bit far and since from here to the this point it is plus 4 right so we can write like this so this is how you'll be doing in the addition okay next our question is about the um, addition of the negative and positive integers so when there is a negative and positive integers let me give you an example like um, okay so first if there is plus 3 and if there is minus 2 okay if there is minus 2 so here is one is the positive integer and another is the negative integer so let me draw a number line again again i'll be drawing with the help of the scale and with the same type of labeling okay so at one point i'll be marking here zero and from this zero point of reference to the right hand side of each one centimeter i'll be marking you can see here how i'm marking here and into the left hand side also i'll be marking uh, for each one centimeter distance 
And here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, and minus 7. Okay. Up to now, we did this much. Now, the first number is plus 3. As I have said, since the digit has plus sign, so always it will move towards the positive direction, right? So, starting from 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, it ended up to 3. Now, it's, this is equals to 3, plus 3. But, what the question is asking you, again, there is a minus 2. Minus 2 means minus always denotes that it should move in the left hand side. In the negative direction it should move. Because the negative integers are in the left hand side it should move in the negative side. So now what I will be doing since we are in the addition right. So we did up to 3. Now from the same point 3 now we will be moving towards the left hand side. 1 and 2 like this and this will be our end. This will be our end. And since we know that plus 3 and minus 2 is equal to plus 1. So up to here, this one is minus 2. And here, it will be plus 1. Now you can see. Only this part remaining, no? So he, from here to here, it is equals to minus 2. And only this part will be remaining, which is equal to plus 1. So this one answer is also now correct. Okay. Now, next question. I'm providing you the continuous examples of this. So, please listen to me very carefully, okay? And here, let me take an example of negative minus 2 and plus 4, okay? One, the first digit is negative, second digit is positive. Now, how to do this? We know the answer. What will be the answer? Since the positive uh, number has uh, the greater value so now we'll be writing plus here and the difference between the 2 and 4 is 2 okay so we know the answer now let me again draw the okay now at any point I'll be marking as 0 and from the point 0 now to the right hand side I'll be marking Okay, like this I have marked now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6. Okay, up to this much we have marked. Now what the question has given first there is minus 2. Yes, first the minus 2 is given. So now without making our curve line, I'll be, um, you can directly make up to minus 2. Mark here up to minus 2. Okay, and again another number is plus 4 given, right? So since it was minus, so we move towards the negative direction from 0. Again, the another number is plus 4. Now from the same point of minus 2, now we'll, move, we'll be moving towards the positive direction, towards the right hand side, like 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, up to here, it will be plus 4. So, from here to this point, from here to this point, it's minus 2, right? And from here to this point, it will be plus 4. Now, the difference between, look, the difference between plus 4 and minus 2 is equal to, what will be the remaining part here? This one is, this one part is plus 2, Okay, so I won't be I won't be marking here like this, but you can do this one as a number line system. So this one is also correct. Okay, now the next question will be like it will be like both the negative numbers are negative minus three and minus three. If both the numbers are negative, then how to represent it in a number line? If both the numbers are negative, then we have to add right. So minus 3 and minus 3 will become minus 6. Now how to represent? Let me draw a line first. Then after marking it as 0. And again from 0 point we will be marking 1 centimeter unit to the both hand side. 
of left and right hand side okay like this will be marking so one two three four five six minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five and minus six okay this much we have marked now since there is a minus three since there is a minus three question is given so starting from zero we'll be going towards the negative direction right again i am saying you when there is a minus sign we'll be going towards the negative or the left hand side when there will be plus then we'll be going towards the positive side that is the right hand side okay starting from zero one two and three so up to three i'm marking here and marking with the arrow head it's minus three Again, the another question is minus 3, look. So, another question is also minus 3 means, again, from minus 3, we will be counting minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. Since we knew the answer is minus 6, and in number line also, we concluded here, this is a minus 6. So, from the whole, the part is, is minus 6. So, this one is also correct. Okay, now here comes the most important part of these integers and how to represent the uh, number line system when there is a multiplication. Suppose there is a multiplication given of both the positive numbers. Positive numbers, positive integers means, suppose the number is plus 3 and plus 2. So, plus 3, plus 3 into plus 2 becomes plus plus into plus becomes plus so we have the rules of sign right when there is a plus into plus it will be plus only minus into plus then it will become minus plus into minus it will become minus and minus into minus it will become plus so this sign we have known this one is very important okay rule of sign this one is very important okay since there is 3 into 2 given so 3 into 2 uh, both the numbers are positive so here also we will be having the product also positive 3 into 6 uh, 3 into 2 becomes 6 now let me represent it a number line okay starting from 0 1 2 3 4 5 so always you have to understand that uh, whenever you will be marking just make sure that each distance of the unit are equal. I am making here the difference of 1 centimeter. Then you must make the difference of 1 centimeter in each unit. If you make the difference of 0 0.5 centimeter, then in each part you will be making the difference of 0 0.5 centimeter. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6. Yes. So now what you will be doing? Since the number is given 3 into 2. Now here the two digits you must understand that the first digit always represents how much times you have to jump. How much time you have to jump. Okay. This will represent times of jump. This will represent times of jump. And this will, uh, this will represent second digit will represent how many digit how many unit how many unit you have to make a jump so understand that again this first digit will represent how much times you have to jump and second digit will represent how much unit you have to jump so since two unit we have to jump for three times so now you understand that two units we have to jump for three times that means we have to make a jump for three times like and since the number is given two units so we'll be marking here two r2 and we'll be making one jump to two again the difference of two so we'll be making another jump to two again from four to six it will be two difference right two unit forward so we'll be marking we'll be jumping again towards the so, it will be 1 jump, 2 jump and 3 jump. So, it will be plus 2, plus 2 and here also it will be plus 2. And this one is equals to 6. So, the arrow here, here also 6. So, this is how you will be doing the multiplication. Okay. Next one we have. Okay. Next question will be like. Um, the question will be asking you like. If there is a positive number and the negative number, then how will we represent it? Suppose plus 3 is given and minus 2 is given. 
So since the rule of science plus into minus becomes minus, 3 into 2 becomes minus 6. Okay, so the result is minus 6. Now how to represent it? Making a number line, 0, Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and here will be minus 6. Okay, since the uh, first number is given 3, right? And you have, to you have to make a jump of minus 2 unit. So now again, the same theory, okay? How much time you have to jump will be the first digit. First digit will represent how much time you have to jump. You have to jump for three times and you have to uh, jump minus two unit forward. That means minus two unit means we have to go in the left direction. Suppose from zero to uh, minus two, I'll be marking here like this. Then after you have to jump for three times again. So one time, two time and three times. So how much time you make a jump? One, two, three. Three times you made a jump. And how much units for what? Minus two, minus two, minus two. So minus two unit for what? You made a jump. And the result is equals to minus six. So here also we got the answer. It is minus six. And this one is also not correct. Okay. Your next question will be like, when there is both the negative numbers, Suppose both the negative numbers are given to you. Minus 3 into minus 2. Okay. Suppose both the numbers are negative. Then how to represent it? So minus into minus becomes plus. Right. Minus into minus becomes plus. 3 into 2 becomes 6. So the answer is 6. Now what will you do? Now you will make a straight line. Straight line and starting from 0. To the right hand side okay one two three four five six and minus one minus two minus three minus four okay since the number are both negative integers are given and the result is plus six so result is plus six that means now we have to make a jump in the right hand side in the positive direction, we have to make a jump. Since both the integers are negative, it will result in plus integer, right? It will, it is, it will result in positive integers. So, it will go in the positive direction. Now, again, three times jump of two. That means, of two units forward, we have to make a jump for three times like this. Like, uh, so, we made a jump from zero to two, two to um 2 to 4 and 4 to 6 so here we made a jump of plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 so no need to think that there is a minus then we have to write here minus because since the number are positive directions so the result is positive so now we'll be going towards um, towards the right hand side so this will be your correct answer thank you so much everyone please um check all the lecture videos of integers uh, of this unit one of class 6 and if there is any problem then please write down in the comment box below thank you so much everyone see you in next class